Wait, do you hear that? It's them. They're finally here. The trolls. <laughs> hey everyone, it's me, John, and I'm back with a video. I was really debating if I should talk about this or not, but it's on my mind, so why not? Uh, I figured I'd uh, shoot a quick video and talk about the art of trolling, particularly on YouTube, because there is minor variations between trolling on YouTube versus trolling on Twitter. <clears throat> Twitter has actually got a bunch of tools, so it's very easy to thwart trolling. You can basically block the person very quickly. YouTube is actually kind of interesting because there's this kind of um, spam filter. Basically, when anyone leaves a comment, if there's something in it that seems like spam, YouTube will catch that. Well, that filter is doing more than just spam. If there is terminology that seems racist, it seems to get caught by that filter. And um, in some cases, it seems like if the person is just being mean or maybe they've got particular word combinations, it gets caught by that filter also. Um, so it was kind of strange. You know, I've been pretty open about the fact that I've been so amazed at there not being any trolls for the Elisa Lamb videos. And then this weekend, it was like the floodgate opened. <laughs> I, you know, I, I should have expected it to happen. I've never had a video series um, be quite that popular. And one of those videos is now over 50,000 views with over 500 upvotes. Thank you all so much. Um, but through that haze, basically in this kind of spam catch area, I saw these messages and, you know, it's easy enough to just delete them right there. I mean, there's a nice little trash con, a trash can icon that you could just click on and bloop, they go away. And I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of people on YouTube handle it. I personally have this thing where, you know, I kind of appreciate free thought. I kind of appreciate a person's right to speak. And my initial intuition is not to delete those, but to actually um, clear them through the spam fil filter and let them post on the comments. And I don't know if that's a good policy or not. If you have any input on that, go ahead and drop it to me in the comments below. And if it gets through the spam filter, you'll see it down there. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of big YouTubers kind of talk about this. PewDiePie has gone through periods of disabling the comment system altogether, but then he feels like he doesn't connect with his fans very well. For me personally, Brain Scratch is meant to be a show that is about conversation. So I really don't you know, doing something like disabling the comments isn't even feasible for a show like Brain Scratch. I've had so many people contribute such great information in those comment threads, very nice people. I've made connections with a whole bunch of people through those those comment threads. Um, so there's great, great value in there. That being said, um, the flip side of that finally reared its head uh, this past weekend. And it just, it's striking to me um, the, the, the MO is very similar for all, all these, maybe it's the same person with different accounts, but I don't think so, that the, the language seems like it's written too differently. But they all basically have the same point of view, particularly on the Elisa Lamb case, which is, uh, dude, she just went crazy, and that's it. The story that you're hearing is all there is to it, and the video shows it all. And... It's really bizarre because then they go on to suggest that you really should stop talking about this, which I don't understand. If I mean, it's one thing if you're trying to help someone and you're like, hey, man, I've got some information. Here you go. You know, here's a link that supports this. I found this great article written by this guy that's analyzing this. He thinks people are going way too far. There's all kinds of different ways to present that type of information, but that's definitely not the tone that these messages come in, and it's definitely not the message that they're echoing. The, the message that they specifically echo is, the story has to be the way that they believe it. No other information that you give them can get them to change their mind, and you just need to stop doing whatever you're doing. And that last part just boggles my mind. It's, 
I think it's almost like they think it's like an interactive form of television or something where they're trying to be like, look, I can alter the course of what's going to happen. And maybe in a way they did because now I'm shooting this. But uh, to stop brain scratch, no, never. To stop thinking for myself, no, never. To not look at cases like that and give them a second thought, no, never. I actually appreciate the art of philosophy, which is something that is... It's, it's literally disappearing around our lives. Uh, even go on to a college campus now, there aren't nearly as many philosophy classes as there used to be. Why? Because it's easier to create sheeple without those classes. It's easier to have people that are looking for a preset thought that they can just consume, like a trip to McDonald's, and then go off on their day thinking that they have this new piece of information that may or may not be valid, but it's a story they were sold. It is really a shame and definitely not something for someone that considers them, themselves a free thinker. Now, on the flip side, you might also consider, well, wait, but they're just giving you a different point of view, right? Well, that's the thing about, about uh, some of these trolls is they usually aren't. They're usually starting at the first step of the conversation and they just want you to stop at that first step. And that's not a conversation. Quite honestly, that's what my videos are here for, is conversation. In every one of my videos, I try to get you guys to go in the comments section. And I work very hard to reply to your messages, or at least give you a thumbs up and let you know that I've checked it out. If you've, if you've tried commenting to me at all, there's a very good chance that you've heard back from me directly. Um, and I feel good about that. I hope I can keep that up. But honestly, with the numbers as they increase, it's it's definitely a chore. And I can't imagine how someone like a PewDiePie or a Boogie2988 or one of these other YouTubers, Angry Joe, how the hell do they keep up with your comments? That's That would be like a full-time job just in itself. What makes it work in the case of Brain Scratch is I go to the comments because it's like doing additional research. I, there's so much great information that's coming in there. And particularly with the Elisa Lamb series, that information directly led to the follow-up episodes. I've had episodes that are based specifically on what you guys are asking for. As a matter of fact, right now I'm literally in the middle of doing investigation on Kendrick Johnson so I can get ready to do that Brain Scratch, scratch episode. And I've heard from so many of you viewers out there that you want to see that particular episode. That's why I'm doing it. So there's huge value in the comment section. Um, but having, having the troll effect was definitely a new twist to it that I didn't quite anticipate. I just wanted to send a quick personal thank you to everyone that has left good comments down there, people that respect that others can have different thoughts and leave room for that. Believe it or not, trolls, there is a way for you to write your thought in there that isn't insulting to the other people where they might actually consider it. It's not that much of an art form. It basically just takes you trying to join the conversation in kind of a friendly fashion. And people digest that information pretty easily. Um, of course, in the cases I've seen, they're usually not bringing any relevant information, especially not new information. Um, they're really just kind of echoing the most simplest of understanding and trying to stand on it like it's you know some kind of mountain that they just conquered. Um, which kind of sucks, you know. It's great when I go down in that comment section and I find something where it's like, whoa, I hadn't really thought of that. That's an absolute new angle on this and that's going to appear in an upcoming episode. It's a different thing when you get a comment and it's like, really, there's another person that just thinks that, uh, you know, the story that everyone believes is all that there could be to it and there's no reason to even talk about anything else. Really? Yeah. That's not the type of uh, world I like to live in. I like to question things. As a matter of fact, we're in a state right now where it's a pretty good time to go questioning things because we're seeing so many examples of corruption among major administrations in this country. If you don't know about any of that, you might want to kick on the news and just take a look. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it was a very interesting weekend for the trolls to come out. Another part of uh, trolling, if you want to do this professionally, uh, make sure that you have an account that has almost no subscribers, 
um, make sure that you've trolled other people and they've left comments on your account about you being a troll. Um, make sure that you just try to make the same point over and over and get more argumentative about how the conversation's going instead of the actual point that you were trying to make. And be sure to reply to every post within 15 minutes of the last post. Those, that's my advice for you if you want to be a professional YouTube troll. Oh, another good one was accuse the content creator of not knowing what the hell they're talking about and uh, just doing it all for um, ad revenue, even if their videos don't run ads. That was probably the best one this weekend. Uh, anyway, I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for listening to John's Troll Attack 2015. And once again, thank you to all you great commenters that are really contributing to the information and all the awesome new connections that I've made with people personally around that case and other cases in Brain Scratch. And I will see you on the next video. Be well.